Welcome to the ASU POWC tutorial on searching for peer-reviewed research articles using the PsycInfo database. This database contains articles from as far back as the 19th century, so it is crucial to narrow your search as much as possible to ensure you get results from studies that you can use in your papers. For this demonstration, we will search for articles on treating depression. If we are unsure of the exact words we need to complete a successful search, we can begin by heading to the thesaurus section, highlighted on the screen with the yellow arrow, and entering the phrase, treating depression. The thesaurus feature provides us with key relevant terms that researchers are using within the field. As you can see, I have entered our search term, treating depression, into the search bar to the right of the yellow arrow. The thesaurus provides us with more specific suggestions to narrow our search. Here, as highlighted by the red arrows, some of the thesaurus's suggestions are treatment effectiveness evaluation and treatment compliance. And if we were interested in finding articles related to either of those terms, we could select them to conduct our search. However, in cases in which we do know the exact words we need to conduct our search, we can proceed directly to the search engine. In this case, we will type the words effective psychotherapy treatment for depression, essentially asking the database to locate any records that include those words. Because we want to ensure that we only find peer-reviewed sources, we select the peer-reviewed option, as highlighted by the yellow arrow on the slide. We are not interested in finding books, theses, or dissertations for this assignment, which do not fall within the peer-reviewed category. Most professors will ask you to cite research done within the last 10 years to use the most recent and relevant studies. To limit the date range of your search to match your assignment requirements, choose to view articles from 2011 and beyond by setting those parameters here. This is highlighted with a red arrow on the slide. Other options that we can use to customize our search include limiting our research to specific languages. As highlighted by the red arrow, I am choosing English here. We can also choose articles with a specific methodology, such as an empirical study, if we are only interested in finding results from experiments. This is highlighted with the yellow arrow on the slide. Once we hit search, we'll see that highlighted with the yellow arrow, we have 1,535 results currently sorted by relevance, which is highlighted by the red arrow. This means that those are the articles in PsycInfo that relate best to the search terms that we have provided. If I were interested in seeing my results in a different order, I could change the setting to show the oldest articles first or the most recent articles first. But most relevant is an excellent place to start an article search. Based on how many results PsycInfo produced, we need to narrow our search at this point. Remember, our goal is to find the best articles for our paper. To figure out how to find the best articles, we need to read a few of those listed here to determine how to adjust our search terms. Then, we can decide to focus our search on a more specific aspect of treatment or to include different, more precise terms. Either way, our goal again is to find the most relevant articles for our assignment. As we look through the articles, you can see that within the results, you are provided a snapshot of almost everything you would need to craft an APA 7 citation for your article. We have the title of the article, authors highlighted with the yellow arrow, journal name highlighted with the blue arrow, volume and issue number highlighted with the purple arrow, and page numbers highlighted with the green arrow. The only thing missing is the DOI, which you can find by clicking on the article itself. To learn more about any article, you can also click on the title of the article to see more information. Doing this opens a complete record which includes the abstract and usually lists keywords and subject headings that you can use to further refine your search. The abstract also provides you with information you can use to determine if the article is suitable for your paper. You can find information relating to why and how the experiment was conducted including the participants' demographics and an overview of the results. Now let's say I decided to narrow my search by adding pharmacotherapy, a medication-specific treatment modality, to my search. To do this, I would go back to the search bar and click Modify Search, located underneath the yellow arrow on the slide. As highlighted by the yellow arrow, next, I add pharmacotherapy to the second search bar. 
Clicking search will bring us to articles that discuss treating depression with psychotherapy and pharmacotherapy. As highlighted by the red arrow, this AND option is auto-selected for you, providing you with search results that pertain to the terms you have entered in both search bars. You also have the option of choosing the words OR or NOT next to the additional term to further specify limitations on the inserted keyword. If we choose the OR option, we will find results relevant to either of the search terms. If we choose the NOT option, we will be presented with results that pertain to the first search term and exclude words listed in the second. Looking through the results from our new modified search, we can see that now we have 54 results. You can see that our search terms appear prominently in all of our results, which means that the articles are much more likely to be relevant to our topic. If upon looking through your results you have not found enough articles, or you are still missing key aspects of your topic, you can utilize the indexing terms section by clicking on an article within your search and scrolling down to the section. The indexing terms section provides a list of words and phrases to help improve your search. For example, here you will notice more specific therapy options such as drug therapy and healthcare seeking behavior. Do not click the check boxes listed because this will create a second search within the narrow set of results that you already have. Instead, if these terms appear to be a better fit for what you are looking for, use them to start a brand new search to find a wider range of relevant results. Once we have run a successful search by finding articles that are recent and relevant, we can obtain copies of individual articles by clicking on either of the provided full text options. In certain cases, articles may not be available to view immediately. These article listings will have a Get It at ASU option that you can then click on to see whether it's available in another database, online, or whether you can request an interlibrary loan through the ASU library. Clicking this Request an Article option will take you to your Iliad account. Once redirected to your Iliad account, you will click Request at the bottom of the page to complete your request. You should then receive the requested article via email within a few days. Finally, once we have identified an article that we want to use for our paper, as highlighted by the arrows in the top right-hand corner of this slide, we have the option of downloading, citing, emailing, or printing our article. The citation option provides us with citations in a variety of formats, including APA 7. Please remember to double check the formatting and content of the citation against the guidelines provided by your APA manual. These references are not always perfect and some changes to the font, line spacing, and indentation are usually needed when pasting them into your assignment. This concludes our brief tutorial of the Psych Info database. For additional help and information around locating relevant articles for the research process, please visit askalibrarian.asu.edu for assistance from a librarian. You can contact an ASU librarian through email, text, or a phone call, and even reserve time to meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. If you need help on this or any other writing assignment, remember that you can book an appointment with one of our writing specialists at the POWC. We are available seven days a week, whether you need help developing your research topic, editing and proofreading drafts of your research paper, or have general questions about writing, grammar, or APA formatting. Our writing specialists are here to help support you on this academic journey.